this morning. Welcome to Terrific Tuesday with Tanya. Um, you know, I start out squatting and somehow it breaks into a, a grind dance. I, that's the problem with music, you see? But um, I'm coming to you first of all because I just have a couple of reminders and also I've got um, something I'm fixing to concoct for you, which is going to be yummy. But first, I want to talk about this. I want to talk about some money I saw that was very fabulous. Sorry, I'm unorganized. I know you're shocked. Um, let's see. She is Danielle. Hey, Danielle. She is the raw trucker lady on YouTube. This lady rocks. Now, let me see if I wrote down her. Here she is. The raw trucker lady on YouTube. I love her. She's very fabulous, and here's why. I, um, I was on the YouTube, and, um, I was just watching a few things, and I saw this little one of her videos came up, and um, she was like making Tanny Rose recipe, and I thought, oh, what's she making? And this lady is in her semi truck making low fat raw vegan. Friends, we have no excuses, okay? Because she's in her truck, and you can see in the background like all of her bananas hanging and ripening in the back of her truck, okay? And she's making my recipe, and she's like, She's like, okay, I don't have a one fat boy tomato, but I've got these four Roma tomatoes. Okay, I didn't have an onion. Tanya used that today, but I'm going to use these dehydrated onion flakes. And, you know, she's improvising, though, keeping with her, her plan. And um, she's showing about, you know, sometimes her backup plan is like Subway. And because they've got a vegan, like, red pepper hummus, and she's saying how some places have it and some don't. And, um... Plus, she's giving some trucking tips, like, you know, if you're driving, you know that we can't, if you can't see us, we can't see you, and, and this, which is really cute, and she's, um, I don't know, she just seems, she seemed blessed, and she had a very unique, um, authenticness coming through to me, you know? She was at the the pilot gas station in Wendy's, and um, she was having her watermelon in her truck, okay, and then she, she was going to get some stuff for later, and she went into Wendy's, and she was going to have a backup plan of potatoes that evening, and they didn't have their potatoes done, but frankly, she didn't have time to wait, so, well, first of all, what she did is she ordered, like, a, a big chicken salad, but she didn't get the chicken and anything and the cheese and stuff on there. But what she said is, hey, since I didn't get the chicken on there, can I get some extra greens? And the dude hooked her up with a whole extra box of really good-looking romaine. And, you know, Wendy's has some fresh food if you just, you know, get it your way. Um, and then the people did not have the potatoes ready. So she was like, well, can I just get some of this to go raw? And so here she is with her tin full of potatoes, and she's going to cook them up in her truck. Danielle, that rocks, girl. I just, I don't know. She and then and then she's this sounds like something I would do. She she lives on the fly like me. She's made these red pepper boats one night and then she's like, well tonight I'm gonna throw the rest of those into my magic bullet, and um or neutral bullet or something. And she's uh she's gonna make that into a sauce. Girl, that's the way I do it. And anyway, I just wanted to say that raw trucker lady, you rock girl, rock on, sing your song, ramble on. So let's see. Um, that just goes to show you, though, where there's a will, there's a way. You know, she's out there doing her own thing. I think she's from Waco, Texas, but she has kind of a country girl twang like me. And, um, or either she was driving through there, I'm not sure. But she's just doing her own thing. She, she's getting it her way, you know? I mean, even if you're at Burger King, that's what they advertise. Give it to me my way, because that's how I want it, you know? Um... You know, are we hurrying to get things done that we don't even notice the beauty and opportunity around us? Um, 
it, it can make us, when you're rushing too fast, and I know we have a lot to do, but guess what? Whether you feel like, <laughs> oh, or you're at ease with it, guess what? You're getting the same amount done. And it causes us to forget to live in that 5% conscious that's wanting to change our ways and eases us quickly back into our 95% of subconscious, which are our already programmed patterns, which get, guess what, puts you right back where you were before, you know? Um, living in distraction, you know? Making it hard to stick to our new habits, you know? Distractions will do that. It's just like being too busy. Um, you know, here's another thing. When a thought comes your way, don't try to just ignore it. Acknowledge it and move on. Because the more you try to ignore it or try to beat it down, the more you're focusing on it and the more it grows. This is an interesting concept that I have applied on my journey and seems to help me. Let's just say, for example, whatever the food is that, that just says, hey, you, psst, you know, um, let's just say it's chocolate cake. Now, for some people, they can hear the word chocolate or think of it and immediately, I mean, it has a strong power. It has an addictive quality and um, furthermore, it's delicious. So, you start to think about it. Now, if you wanted to have chocolate, have some cacao nips and some banana ice cream making chocolate ice cream. Bam. You know what I'm saying? If you cannot get past it, plug in your plan for that, you know? Um, and remember, for every action, there's a reaction. You go to the store and you buy, you are going to just get one Hershey bar, you know, unwrap a smile, you keep on thinking to yourself. And instead, you had to get the one that was called the giant one, you know? And then, dang, if you're going to eat that, you might as well get a Snickers to go with it. This is how I used to think. If I was going to have, if I was to have licked off a Hershey bar, I would have had to have 10. It's ridiculous, though true. Um, so here's the thing. You don't want to feed the thought. You don't want to focus on it because you'll make it grow. Like, I am not going to blank. You might say, I am never going to eat chocolate again. You know, chocolate does this to me. When I eat chocolate, I, I, I don't even like chocolate. I, I'm never going to like that again. Guess what? The more you say the word chocolate and the more you think of it, the more you want it, right? So instead, what you want to do is just think, okay, chocolate. Move on and plug in your positive affirmations, okay? Like, I love how I feel on low-fat raw vegan, low-fat high-carb, more raw everyday vegan. I love how I feel satisfied when I have caco ice cream. I love how I feel energetic, satisfied, and good about myself when I have ice cream. I love how, you see what I mean? It's two different things. Um, so focus on what, what you want to receive. Don't even say like, um, I want to really like healthy food. I want to have a healthy body. Because then what you're putting out is you just want that. It's sort of a, a pipe dream, a wish. Instead, I have a healthy body. I have a healthy mind. I feel good about myself. I love myself where I am today because this is my journey. You see what I'm saying? Um, what else was I going to say? So the key is to focus and fill up on the positive, you know, and on the things that are working for you. Um, you know, and two, if you can't shake it off, if you can't seem to get past even the rush, which makes your mind, okay, if you can't get past that, 
focus on your senses. I used to do this and I do it now. Like, um, focus on your breathing for one minute. Focus on the silence. Or focus on someone's tone of laughter. Focus on the smell of what's around you. Focus on, do this. And focus on it, you know. Or, you know what, back in here is a real sensory part and you can like rub up and down. And just focus on that. It brings you to the moment in time is what I'm saying, your senses, you know. Look, look closely at something. It doesn't matter what it is. I could look at this little, I got this little natural made soap. See, I could have this, I wouldn't suggest carrying soap in your pocket because it might melt, but I could have something like that or a little stone or something. But I could, I could feel this. I could look closely at it's different, how it like laid in whatever it formed in when it was melted. I could smell it. See, it brings us to the moment in time, you know. Um, so that's all I had to tell y'all today. Let's make this little, this little, little treat. And I'm going to dedicate this treat to <clears throat> the raw trucker lady, Danielle. All right. So we've got our bananas in here. I don't know. How many? A lot. And then I could have some more if I want it. I'm going to make this in. Ready? Go. <laughs> Um, freeze the bananas overnight you get more of a soft serve if you had them frozen for I don't know a week or two you get more of like a hard serve ice cream this container is I'm going to have to get some more of these but I'll just give you all the concept it looks like it's going to rain today that won't dim my sunshine yet So, there we have it. I'm going to sprinkle a little cinnamon. I'm just using this dry because that's what I have. You know, if you add cinnamon, especially add it in while it's blended, I forgot to do that, but if you do that, cinnamon really balances the blood sugar and will give you even a little longer sustainability. Um, and furthermore, yesterday, my mommy loves to say, well, you know, fruit makes you hungry. Yes, you will be hungry 30 minutes later if you had one orange. Or one bite of toast, you know, kick up the calories. So then we've got, what I did is I took my mulberries and I've kind of just mashed them around in here, creating like a little sauce, you know. And then I'm going to swirl that around so I can just be really cute about it. And then I have these other little mulberries. And then I like to eat with my wooden spoon because I'm just weird like that. Look at that. Oh yeah, look at it. Ah, oh, very riffing. And I can't let you go before you see these um, $3 shorts I got yesterday. You know, I'm like the 42 year old punky Brewster. I just kind of think everything goes together. You know how you can wear everything together anytime? All you gotta do is think it's cute and then everybody else thinks it's cute too. <laughs> Or if they don't, they just don't want to hurt your feelings and they just don't say anything, right? Well, look at them. <laughs> you know what? This guy was made for dancing. Yeah. That is a she bop by Cindy Lauper for you young fruit bats that don't know what the heck was going on in 1984. <laughs>